This is my rain catch system. This is the third generation of it. It's progressed over the years. The first generation was that tank that you see, which is a 300 gallon tank, and that was just sitting on the ground with a hose attached to it. Then I have the gutters on my garage feeding into it. That worked fine, but there wasn't much water pressure there. So next I elevated the tank by cutting up some railroad ties, and I got it up about four feet off the ground. That worked a lot better. That gave me more pressure and made it usable with the garden hose. For the next revision this year, we wanted a little more pressure. So I set up a 12 volt pump with a solar panel and that seems to work really well. I'm going to show you some of the details and how this is set up. To start, this takes up about a area that's about 5 feet by 5 feet. And what I've done is I cut some railroad ties in half and stacked them up in order to elevate this off the ground. Next, I fed my gutters into it from the top. And there's a piece of window screen that they go through to filter out any debris. Once in a while I just climb up there and empty the leaves and other junk out of it. This is the connection to the tank with PVC pipe. The tank's got a big shutoff valve here so I can shut off the water flow from it if I need to disconnect any plumbing to change it around. So it comes down and I've got a clean out I can unscrew here in case it gets clogged up but this connects out to some PEX tubing which then curves around underneath and goes to these two faucets. I've got a piece of pressure treated plywood screwed up here and these two faucets are screwed to it so they're really rugged so when you yank on them with the hose it's not going to break anything. So I made two so that you can have a couple hookups or if you have a hose hooked on one you can uh, fill up a bucket off of another or whatever you need, wash your hands. So this is what you get from gravity feed and that's not bad at all. That's that's usable, especially if you have a small nozzle on the hose. So what I did this year is a friend of mine gave me this DC pump. This is from a boat and I've got it, the input of it hooked up to this faucet and then the output of it has a connector on it that I can screw a hose to. Um, I just set this up a couple weeks ago, so I plan on putting another faucet here for that to have a more rugged connection. So basically, this is my pump. I've got an old car battery down there. It's just a battery that's out of one of my cars, and I, the battery's still good, but I had replaced it with a new one. And then up here I've got a 5 watt solar panel and that keeps my battery charged. That's basically a solar trickle charger. This is what's coming out of the hose when it's hooked up without the pump going. So this is just gravity fed water pressure. If I hook up the pump then I get more pressure than I get out of the hose on the front of my house. There's the pump going. And so you can see here that 
that pump works really well. It lets me use it as if it were a regular hose. Right now you can see I'm spraying it oh, about 25 feet right there. So you'll see here when I shut the pump off, it's going to switch back over to gravity feed. So the pressure drops dramatically. But it's still going through the pump even though the pump isn't running. If you are considering building a similar system, here are some details of my components. The tank I picked up for free, but I've seen them for sale pretty cheap. The pump is a DC voltage pump. You can probably use just about any kind of pump, even an AC pump if you want to run it off your house voltage. A regular 12 volt car battery, nothing special. Find a cheap used one from a salvage yard if you don't want to buy a new one. This is a 5 watt solar charger. I bought it a while back from Northern Tool when I had a truck that would drain the battery. It is intended to trickle charge a battery and won't overcharge. This setup is not complicated and was constructed mostly with salvaged components. This setup works well for me. Hopefully it will provide some useful ideas that will meet your needs too. Not only does it allow us to maintain our gardens with free water and power from the sun, but also provides an emergency water source if necessary. My roof area is 1100 square feet. One inch of rain will produce more than twice the capacity of this tank. Rainfall here averages 42 inches per year, producing over 28,000 gallons, which far exceeds my needs. Thank you for watching.